Hey, this is Walt Matten with Checkeye. Today on Midwest Outdoors, we're on Castle Rock Lake in central Wisconsin. We're gonna do a little crappie white bass fishing. Should be a great day. Got some good weather and got some good friends. Let's go get them, Checkeye. That's right, Mr. Walt. We should have good time today. Let's go get them. Attaboy, Jesse. Oh, here we go. Woo! That's a big one. That one came on blue and gold, Slender Spoon. That's one of the nicer ones. We'll throw that over in our pile there. Grab another waxy and put her on and go down. Hook them behind the head. That's all we're doing. Sometimes they want two, but lately it's one. Send her back down. Oh, that's a nice fish. You know, the spoon bite, you get laid ice like this, it'd be a whole lot of fun because they bottle rock it right up under the ice. Look at that, just annihilating that bait. How are we jigging it pretty aggressive or? Oh yeah, absolutely. Right in the middle of the water column, we're in about 18 feet of water, about nine feet down. I just, just smacked it. Them suspended fish are the hungry ones today. There you go, there's a nice one on the old demon jigging spoon. Just barely lip hooked there. One of the things that's interesting is they're just there's there's just no fish down there and then all of a sudden think they come out of no place and there they are. They seem to be rooting around the bottom and then popping up. Hey, check guy, what are you doing? Hi fishing. I got something for you. What is? Those are peas. What I do? You sprinkle those around your hole. When a fish comes up to take a pea, you grab them. I gotta try right now. Okay. Come on, fishes. Come on, fishes. Oh, we just moved over to a little bit deeper water here. And what happens is a lot of times on Wisconsin River here, like Pete and Wall Castle Rock, is when they start to lower the water in the spring for the spring runoff, these fish move out to deeper water. And we moved out here to the main channel this time and hope to find some more. And here's our first fish. Nice big old white crappie. We're out right now, we're in 20 foot of water, opposed to where we were at over on the other side. We're fishing like anywhere from 10 to 15 foot of water and kind of slowed down there. So we're gonna start working our way out to deeper water because we think these fish are moving out with the water being lowered. Another one on that slender spoon. It's been a hot one lately. Ooh! That sucker ripped the reel right out of my hand, Jesse. You got that's, there, no, well. that's no crappie. That's that color oh. I told you to switch to, that pink and white one. Oh yeah, that pink and white is hot. That's well, hot pink and white. That's a nice white bass. Yeah, Catch a is. lot of big white bass like that. Oh yeah, I'll tell you what. One thing about Castle Rock Lake, it's a year round fishing place. I've come up here in the spring, summer, fall, all the way up to November I was fishing and, and, and obviously through the ice. It's a great four season place to fish. Come on fish, come on up. Oh, here comes one. Oh, check eye number one, pea fishing. Go check eye, go. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Jim, nice catch. Hey, thanks check eye, how are you doing? Okay, hey, why you fish with such long rod? Kind of a personal question, but seriously, more leverage, stand away from the hole. I don't spook fish in shallow water. This gives check eye idea. Joking aside, Chuck Guy, the long rod, more leverage. I don't spook the fish because I'm standing away from the hole. Really good in shallow water like today. See the fish I'm catching? Chuck it. I won't spook fish now. There we go. Speak of the devil, huh? Catch a lot of these out here. Summertime, you catch a ton of them. Same thing on a peat wall. I mean, these you catch a lot of them. They're good eating. What you do when you flay them out, they got a lateral line, this line that runs all the way down through. You flay them out like a normal crappie, you run your knife right down there, you just keep the back straps, that's all you eat on them. That way you don't have the mud vein or the belly meat. Then you slice the flay in half where you got pure white meat and there ain't nothing wrong with them. You can fry them right with your crappies and it tastes the same. <clears throat> Check guy, come over here and fish. Oh, he's okay. Oh, look at, oh, what? Oh, look at those. It's nice white bass. Oh, look oh, at that, look at that. Oh, look at, what's he got? Oh, oh what do you got? I think it's crappie. Oh, oh nice big bluegill. Oh, I can fish with you? Sure, why not? Come oh, on okay. over. All right, I gotta make holes. You know, custom jigs and spins has got a bait for basically any situation you're fishing. Today, 
It was mostly a jigging spoon bite, but then during the middle of the day, it switched over to kind of a, a slower bite, and that's when we used the tungsten and the rat finkies and just kind of more stationary jigs and held the rod steady. The fish came up to them, and then we just barely moved them. That seemed to be the ticket. But then early and late in the day, when the fish got more aggressive, we were running those jigging spoons, and they were working real well. Spoons like the slender spoons, the demon jigging spoons, it's custom jigs and spins, they've got a lure for every situation, whether you're fishing a flowage, clear water lake, or any water body of water near you. Got one there, Jess? Yep. Nice. Nicely done. Finally. Had two of them down there. Yeah. And the bottom one came racing up, beat the other one to her. All right. Look at that. There's a nice white crap. We haven't caught one of those in a while. Yeah, a little whitey. Hey, thanks a lot, Jesse, for showing me around. You bet, Walt. We had a great time here at Castle Rock Flowage with my guide buddy, Jesse Qualley, with Greenwater Walleye's Guide Service and Custom Jigs and Spins. Midwest Outdoors will be right back.